The ornamental sweet potato now has proven to be a very popular plant in our gardens, particularly the original first generation of the ornamental sweet potatoes, the marguerite and the blackie. Although there were some problems with those. People loved them because they added great color, but they grew like crazy. They were almost too vigorous. But the plant breeders have listened to that and they've come up with new generation of ornamental sweet potatoes. They're a denser, more compact plant that doesn't overpower everything else. Three to four feet is all they grow in a season. Get there quickly, but stop and just keep adding branches so they get denser and thicker. But we can put them in pots or window boxes or in the garden without them covering other things up or going way out into the lawn. So they're a whole lot lower maintenance, but we still have that color impact. The other thing they've added is a whole new leaf form to it. We have the heart leaf with the green new growth that goes to the red heart on them. We have a little more bronzy. We have a bronze variety. Here's this oak leaf. As we look on down the row, we can see a whole variety of leaf form, leaf colors, and whole textural change. Depending on what we're trying to do, we now have a sweet potato, about 12 different colors or leaf forms that we never had in the past. They do great anywhere in the state. They're probably the easiest thing there is to grow. You almost plant them and forget them. If we water them a little bit and fertilize them occasionally, they just thrive. There's really no insects or disease that bother them. And yes, they will produce a potato. We don't normally consider that one we're gonna eat, but they do, and it, that potato could be overwintered like a traditional sweet potato and replanted the next year if people wanted to do that. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.